Hello, I'm Jennifer and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. I think it's always a good idea to try to better ourselves no matter how old we are. And I recently realized that my penmanship has become atrocious. <laughs> There's really no other way to describe it. I was trying to write a letter and I was just appalled at how my handwriting looked. I don't know how this happened. I used to have lovely handwriting when I was in high school, but I think it's years upon years of just mainly using the computer and not really having to write longhand that has made my penmanship so bad. So I started to do some research on how to improve my penmanship, and I came across an article by Nick Rollins called Eight Easy Tips to Improve Your Handwriting. So Mr. Rollins writes, perhaps like me, you want to write more legibly so your notes don't look like a spider has been dipped in poisonous ink and then violently convulsed itself to death across your page. <laughs> I thought this was really funny because that describes exactly how I write. It is that bad. The article was really interesting because Mr. Rollins highlighted a few ideas that I had never thought of before in regard to penmanship. Some of his tips, which were food for thought for me, were to have a clutter-free desk. If you're trying to write something important, it's easier if your desk is clear and serene. You know, if you have unpaid bills, flowers that need to be thrown out, and a half-eaten sandwich, it's going to be harder to write a letter. Also, posture is something to keep in mind. He recommends that you have really good posture and a nice grip on your pen. I notice that when I write things, I'm hunched over my desk, and the grip on the pen is way too rigid, um, causing my handwriting to just not look good at all. So I'm going to try to incorporate his tips and see if it improves my handwriting. Even the slightest improvement would be something I would be proud of at this point. So I would love to know, what is your penmanship like? Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.